Hi friends, myself Sadiq Ali. Uh, today I want to demonstrate that on premises cloud balancing capability using external tool for Mule application in Mule 4. Uh, the application should be on cluster uh, application. But right now I am not showing any uh, capability for cluster but I will make the runtime application runtime environment on cluster enabled and I will use the Nginx uh, tool which was mentioned in request uh, from forum. So, uh, so I am going to demonstrate here that how the Nginx server do the load balancing uh, can be done the load balancing use, uh, for the Mule 4 application for on-premise deployment. Okay. So let's go and uh, uh, let me demonstrate uh, show you here that application which I have already uh, downloaded. Okay, the engine server application I have already downloaded, and uh, there the conf, conf folder. There is a engine dot, uh, dot conf. Okay, that I have already opened here. If you if you see that uh, if you go, uh, I'll see here that I have configured the upstream. The name is Sadik. I have mentioned the server uh, and port where the request has to be forwarded once landed. This is the uh, common port. This is the uh, port which I have configured for the engine server, which was default is 80, but 80 is already used in my uh, local environment, so I'm not using 80. So I have configured, uh, modified the port is 8070. Okay. Moving on that next point that. Um, uh, uh, the locate location I have configured based on what I have done the ex upstream configuration. Okay, so this is the only require uh, configurations need to be done uh, while using while doing the configuration for any server to forward the request, and uh, this will follow follow up the uh, follow up the round robin capability capacity and uh, will distribute the request on two two different servers. Fine. Which one is configured here over here? So let me show you that application which I have I have uh, uh, created just for a uh, very simple application for logging purpose only. So this is gone gone over here and it's uh, uh, sent to queue it's the VM queue and has uh, logged in the logs. Okay, logged in the logs. You can see this is logging in the logs. Okay, but nothing else. So I uh, let me uh, application already started. So let me stop and show you that uh, while starting it, uh, after starting it, uh, let me clean up uh, something which I have uh, done over here. Uh, the box I want to delete from it. And uh, let me open another folder. Okay, let's let me go one by one and I'll show you that uh, what uh, we, we have done over here. So uh, you can see that uh, this, this is the mule one means this is the mule one, mule two, and this is the mule this is the mule one. Okay, this is the mule one. Let's see this is mule one. Uh, uh, the application is already cluster configured. Okay, let me show you the cluster configuration. Cluster configuration, both almost same, but having only the node uh, differences over here. Okay, and uh, almost the configuration is I have done the same change here. So this is the cluster enabled application uh, in runtime, and uh, the port which uh, I have given as a input. A parameter I have given op uh, configured the option to provide as an input parameter that is the STL port. Okay, so I am the application already deploy on the both the uh, runtime. If we want to see that uh, the application already uh, kept over here. Uh, okay, so let me start the application one by one. If you see, if you can see this is the mule mule one. Okay, you can see this is mule two. Both are the different runtime uh, on the same in. The, same uh, uh, environment, same server. So uh, let me start the application. You can see this is 8081 or 8085. And 8081, 8085, I have already provided over here in my upstream configuration. Okay, so this, there is no, uh, no need to bother right now because the application is going to start on the same uh, same port. So let it be started and then we'll make a request. Okay. 
adding another point is that uh, the, the uh, request will be landed over here on 8070 and will be routed to the uh, forwarded to the 8085 and 8080 fine that is the one point um, so let, let it just start it properly it's done fine um, moving on another part is that uh, let me go in the cluster link is you can see the log over here you can find out the logs the access log and any error logs logs uh, anyway uh, else if you want something else you can configure over here you can define the log and the probability and whatever you want to put in the logs you can define with that okay so let me send the request uh, let me send the request let me uh, go over here or read this one to avoid any discrepancy okay over here and go to the post go to the body and use this one uh, plus one one okay send a request once a request has been um, uh, made it will go to it will land in the Jenkins server engine server and on this this port and it will forward it to the whatever upstream we have defined okay so let it be okay let it be first one fine let's go and see that where it has been landed this build one let me see this is the okay, this is build two let's go to build two and plus okay so you can see this is the mule one you can see this is the mule two fine let's go and uh, show the uh, logger over here uh, one this one let's go to the fine let's see where it has landed this is mule one definitely it's land two why it has been landed mule two because we have configured we have made the configuration engines go first one and then server two whatever is server three or server four okay based on round of or so this is the one let's go uh or two I'm not bother about the uh this request but if you request it's a uh, uh, will be delayed but for, for that it will, it will be uh, form well okay so i have made cluster 2 request let's go where it has been landed it it's mill 2 let's go over okay. we have not found it because the, the request already landed first request already landed so now the second request need to be land on uh, mill 1 okay. see that it has been landed over here mill 2 let's go and 3 and 4 uh, let's see Four. Now she is so quick response. Five and six. Okay, let's go and find out the where it has been landed. You can see this is the mule one. This is the mule one. You can see uh, the request landed two, four, and six. Okay, I'll go to the uh, mule two. If you see over here, the request landed is one, three, and five. This way it distributes the request onto server and it perform well whenever we are using for local environment local, local server it's not only for the rest apis also the web application so uh, this is the complete demo uh, i would like to if uh, make a comment comment in the uh, video and uh, and let me know if you needed some more information on that uh, so uh, the demo which i have provided you is will do not for zero and um, uh, for cluster based environment and cluster based environment and for the external tool for load balancing okay uh, let me know if any other tool you want to, uh, want to see over here or see if anywhere i'll definitely to demonstrate uh, in the next, next video 
or if you have some other software you can share with me i'll definitely install on uh, provide you my uh, my uh, demo as should be okay thanks guys uh, for making uh, this request to show you uh, such uh, this uh, demo definitely uh, in further i'll uh, i'll share some more demo regarding the load balancing and cluster based platform okay, thanks